हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग सिमिट्री और वी कैन से ग्रुप एनालिसिस फॉर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड इन द प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर्स आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सिमिट्री और इनवेरियंस ऑफ कर्व्स मीन्स आई हैवन टस्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन पर्टिकुलर बट आई हैव डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन चेक द इनवेरियंस ऑफ अ कर्व दैट इज गिवन टू अस अंडर सम सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक स्ट्रेचिंग ग्रुप और अंडर गिवन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स आवर मेन टॉपिक इज ली ग्रुप्स स्टूडेंट्स इन ग्रुप थ्योरी यू नो फॉर चेकिंग दैट आ गिवन फंक्शन यू कैन से इज अ ग्रुप वी नीड टू चेक फोर प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक द फर्स्ट वन इज क्लियर एसोसिएटिव आइडेंटिटी एंड देन इनवर्स these were the four basic properties and if you want to check that either the group is commutative or not then definitely you have to check uh, the commutative law but now in lie groups uh, the reason that why i am going i am explaining that uh, in group theory we are discussing group like this because don't confuse with uh, those groups and the lie groups because in lie groups we discuss about transformations means here we are given the set of transformations and we have to check that whether the given set of transformation form a lie group or not for example consider transformations the transformation is something like x i bar is equals to f of i x j epsilon uh, where the values of i and j varies from 1 to n now st students there is a little bit rough work in which i have explained that in equation 1 that i have discussed previously uh, like if i take i is equal to 1 like in this um, transformation if i take the value of i is equal to 1 then definitely i will get x1 bar is equals to f1 xj epsilon now students keep in mind i have just uh, plug in the value of i i haven't replaced the value of j here okay and then it will become equal to x1 bar is equal to f1 x j epsilon but now if i plug in the values for j then definitely i will get f1 x1 x2 x3 and up to so on xn and into epsilon epsilon is basically a parameter in the similar way if i plug in the value i is equal to 2 uh, then i will get this one basically here we have n dimensional case okay and if i take the dimension 2 then definitely we will get f1 x1 x2 and epsilon we will uh, neglect all the other terms in the two dimensional case but here we have n dimensional case okay so where epsilon is the parameter and these are called a one parameter lie groups if they satisfy the following exams means these are the transformations here i haven't used the word transformation because uh, basically the this representation represent a set of transformation for different values of i and j and i and j definitely varies from 1 to n now let us check the uh, and epsilon is a parameter and we will check the conditions uh, that is described in the definition on epsilon okay now we will check the exams uh, that should be satisfied for the given transformations to be a lie groups now students uh, the first condition is this that uh, definitely um, uh, following exams with respect to the law of composition means first of all for the given transformation uh, to check that either the given transformation is group or not first of all we have to define the law of composition in the coming lecture i will describe how we we can find the law of uh, uh, composition or how we can find the phi ab now the first condition is this that if ab belongs to g then phi ab belongs to g okay means the clear law hold and the law of composition that is defined should belongs to the group basically the group uh, we need to define the group according to our transformation okay and the other thing is this associative law hold means if abc belongs to g then phi of a phi of bc is equal to phi into phi of ab into c and the other one is identity if a belongs to g then there exist an identity belongs to g such that phi of a e is equal to phi of e a is equal to a means in our law of composition we need to replace the second element with identity and uh, if our composition uh, gives the same answer like for as, as that of first term and uh, if um, definitely the com uh, it will be commutative 
then we say that the identity exists and in the similar way the inverse should hold like if a belongs to g then there exists a unique element definitely if ex identity exists then there should be an inverse exist that will give us identity like when we operate uh, phi a a inverse then it should give us the identity the same that we have find in the previous step now students the further the following properties are satisfied means basically these are the four properties to check it uh, either it is a group or not now the other four properties are very important one that states that the transformation that we have defined earlier uh, fi is a smooth function of variables x j now students uh, do you know what is smooth function uh, if you don't know let me uh, explain uh, a smooth function is the one whose n times derivative exist okay or you can say that a smooth function is one whose derivative exists at every point now the other condition is this fi is analytic function in the parameter epsilon okay fi is analytic function now what is analytic function um, because the condition of uh, differentiability and analyticity is a different one in differentiability we have uh, we check that whether the given function is differentiable at a point or not means we are discussing a single point in differentiability but when we talk about analyticity then we discuss the differentiability at the point and also on the neighborhood of the point okay means if i uh, am discussing like differentiability at a point then i just have to check the differentiability here but if i am going to check the analyticity then i have to check the differentiability in the neighborhood domain okay uh, uh, now the second condition says that fi is analytic function in parameter epsilon that is a function with a convergent taylor series in epsilon definitely if analytic function then um, the taylor series should converge now the other condition is this epsilon is equal to zero can always be chosen as identity can always be chosen corresponding with the with the identity element e means always we have to check uh, we have to find epsilon is equal to zero as the identity element and the last but not the least condition is that the law of composition can be taken as phi of a b is equal to a plus b means this is the law of composition that we have to choose for uh, to prove that either the given group is lie group or not now student these are the basically eight properties that need to be satisfied for the given transformation to be a lie group okay and there are few notes um that that i have written down these are epsilon belong to a group g okay means the first properties that we have checked earlier here uh, we have checked it basically for epsilon means epsilon belong to the group g means the set to which epsilon belongs should have to be a group that means ke the group from which epsilon belongs should have to form uh, should have to satisfy the four properties of a group okay and phi is binary operation and we have to define it and phi transform uh, means i have written it in my own language that we have uh, we define phi after looking at the transformation and g is the subset of real numbers and and definitely a uh, taylor series exists for analytic functions <laughs> basically these are um, there are few lines that i have written in my own language just for the sake of understanding okay i hope you understand uh, means that epsilon um, epsilon should belong to a set that forms a group and uh, phi uh, should satisfy the binary operation and uh, if uh, it is analytic then definitely um definitely the taylor series exists now student this is all about the lie groups and uh, in uh, in the next lecture i will talk or uh, i will discuss that how we can check that either the given transformation is form a lie group or not by using all of the eight conditions that we have described okay there are basically eight conditions for the lie groups now uh, that's all thank you so much